Okay, we're back. Uh, part two of uh, hopefully just a four part series, but let's find out. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> well, I was getting that other video uploaded and whatnot. I was sitting here just looking at everything, and then the phone rang, and I got to yak, and I ended up doing some work ahead of you guys. So, what I did was I just go ahead and uh, cut out the outline that we had made on the piece of paper there and then I just went ahead and cut out uh, blank that's all I've done extra that's not that big a deal so you take the blank you cut it all out you uh, I make sure I go quite a ways outside the blank because I just don't want to have to mess up I'd rather cut it off and do away with it than to actually not have what I need there when I need it so okay so it's cut out like that and uh, this here is actually going to be this uh, leather side here if you could feel it you could feel it's a little bit rougher than this side here uh, anyway this side here is going to be the side that uh, uh, gets attached to the belt so I have to uh, make the slots for the leather piece to go through and then we will sew those on the inside before we actually uh, do anything like <laughs> put the other piece of leather on there. I have messed up and done it with before and had to take it all apart and do it and then put it back together. That's really not any fun. So I, mean, I got the cutters out here. And I'm going to figure uh, probably should need, uh, let's see, probably this one right here, uh, not that one, one of these over here it looks like. It's hard to remember where you keep all this stuff, but I think that's a little bit too small. That's too small. It's just here. Oh, here we go. Right here. Perfect. Right here. Okay, so this is just a blank, and what it's going to do is it's going to cut a hole for the band to go through for the uh, belt loop. So you have to have a way for it to go through, or well, that's how I do it anyway. And uh, so I'm going to try to figure out. You sit here and you try to figure it out, you know, you kind of picture it in your head. And uh, you want it to hang on your side here, you know, one side or the other. This is going to be a right-handed one, actually. And so I am going to, uh, let's see, the, this is going to go in here like this. There will be a welt in here, and if you look at the knives, that little thick spacer in the knife thing there is uh, what keeps the knife from cutting the thread. So there will be a spacer in here as well. It's called a welt. And so I'm going to hold this up here and figure out about where I already have the welt cut. You cut that out when you cut the, the outline here. You cut that out and you just trim it down to fit. So. Well, it's going to go there, so I'm going to figure that that's going to go right in there somewhere. Big measuring deal, huh? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to, let's see. Uh, I have a ruler somewhere, but I don't know where it's at. Excuse me for bumping the camera. I'm going to have to move you guys, actually. Because I need in that drawer. So hold on. There, try to make it so you can still see what I'm doing here. But I need this right down here. That's going to be the belt loop. Yeah, make sure I have the right one. Yep, it's the right one. Because there's different sizes down in there. And they're just pieces of scrap from before. So. I'm going to make it like this. It'll be going in there, something like this here. But I'm going to cut this down. That's going to be the loop for the belt. And uh, 
Shoot, where is my ruler? Here's my ruler, and I want it to be three inches. Three inches will be right there. That will be where we cut this off at. And the reason I made it three inches is because when you go like this here, and you cut it off to put it down, you see what you got? You've got just about the width of your belt that will fit in there. So, go like this, like this. Make sure that you're gonna have, this will be for a two inch belt. So I will cut it just a little bit longer. To make sure that it's gonna be long enough for someone's belt. Because remember what I told you, it's better to be longer than shorter. <laughs> so this will be tied, sewn actually. I say tied, but I mean sewn. It'd be sewn in there like that, so that when it's It'll be the size of a belt. So, okay, try to keep some of this stuff out of the way. Because it gets kind of cluttered up here otherwise. So, let's take this and make, make it be, Center. Hammer. Yeah, move it. Just something like this here. Tough stuff. There we go. That went through that time. Okay, Something like that. Okay. And then this one down here. And this will go through here like this. Something like that. Something like that. I'll try to show you what it's like. That was the belt for the belt. Okay, hold it up there. It'll be something like that right there. It'll be all tied together. It'll be sewn actually here very quickly. And this goes here, I believe. Say, so 
So it goes like that. I wanted it. That's gonna make our pattern for our top piece. You know, when you want your just go in here like this. You, know? so you want it to go in there and seat. And you take that off. And this is basically how it's going to go. Go down like this. You'll have another piece on top of this, like this. Hope you can see this over here. You'll have to imagine that this is a piece of leather. And it'll go something like that. Uh, it'll hook in there, but this piece right here won't be here. It'll be like cut off right across here Because if you'll remember we put a hole in it right here, and that's gonna be for the snap And that'll be the snap hole that holds everything together so That is uh, How it's gonna go <laughs> I like it when things come together So I will need to cut the holes in this. Uh, with oh, there's my ruler. I think I'll use this one right here. It will go right here. Yep. Like that. My wax up. You guys already know you put the wax on there. Why? So that will slide quicker in the holes, even, even Steven. And then this will go right about here. That. Yeah, see what we're doing on time. We're get, losing some time here, so might be a good place to show you this other part that would be this part right here this is a beveler use this on any any uh, place in the leather that is going to be seen simply has a little notch built into it see and what we're going to do is we're going to trim the edges of the leather kind of gives it a good look when you go to do the edges burnish the edges so simply take it like this burn it down the edge of it and that takes all the wrap to the Rat, radish looking look to it's gone that way. Yeah, you do the same thing on the other side. Close this up so you get a better look. And you do that on all four sides. And these smaller strips are harder to do, of course. See how I do it, I kind of do it in sections. You don't really have much choice. Something like that. And it comes out looking, see how it's beveled. 
And then when you go to burnish it, it's easier to burnish the edges, make it look nice and straight, neat. I'm not going to do those because that's, uh, when I store it, it's going to be like this here. It's not going to make any difference. So the last thing I'm going to do for part two here is I'm going to show you here. Can go through here. Can go through here. This. And it's gonna go something like this here. So, because I don't want to go through all of that leather, I am just gonna make a small hole. Tell me where it goes with this all. That. on both of them so I know that they're going to be right at the same spot on both sides something like that and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it or not but there is uh, four small holes there and that's how we are going to go through with the thread It'll come through on this other side See what I'm doing? I'm taking those out so I know where those holes go. Get my punch. And all the way. This one right here. A little bit of wax on it. Find the two holes. that what do about it but it's okay it's just a, a darn thread hole okay when uh, that's gonna be the end of part two uh, let me make sure yes I've gone over it as usual and when you see me again we will have this go ahead and have this uh, sewn in so we can get going on the next part the next part will be to cut the top pattern to fit over the bottom pattern and get ready to set up for the uh, rivet holes in the sewing so till next time it's you know what it is I can't do it without you and you know that I love you and it's God bless you God bless me God bless USA Thanks for watching part two.